All right, welcome back to a brand new video of the Targeted Individual Program, Targeted Individual Experience. So I was upstairs, uh, I was on the phone with the TI from California, you know, and she was asking me if I still get the headaches. And I was like, yeah, I still get it. Got off the phone with her half an hour later, start having the headaches. Then they started to um, manipulate my daughter's consciousness, right? And because they know, again, they want to, uh, and because they know I'll get upset, they started BCI me. Everything I touch, I pick. About I went to get her clothes for her, but well, she was taking a bath. I mean, you can help me to do that. Huh? <laughs> so part of the targeting. That's all I mean. So part of the targeting. All right. So part of the targeting. Anyhow, um, yeah. So BCI me like crazy, man. Uh, to the point where they're just starting to try to manipulate my choices. All right, so my daughter went in the bath and take a bath. She didn't take her clothes with her, which I always tell her, always take your clothes with you. All right, so I go to get, she asked me to bring, and here's the funny thing too, she kept asking me to bring one item at a time, <laughs> right? And I didn't think about it, but every time I go to get her item, you know, because I'm thinking that she already have her other clothes, but she didn't. So when I went to get, she asked me for her bralette, open up her, 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 her drawer, right? Uh, again, hijacking my consciousness. And, um, you know, and I realized what they were doing. So I just grabbed a few and I let her pick out which one she wants, right? Then she asked me for shorts and an underwear. You know, like the, uh, and I was like, okay. And every time I open her drawer to get a call, they will, they will use the, you know, the car horn the BCI me to try to manipulate my my choices all right but this is what they were doing you know having me on the remote neural monitoring all right to the point where you know I was selling the TI from California I said man you know if, if I if, if if I had a weapon right I, I know exactly where to go <laughs> you know what I'm saying but you know I mean you get angry so you say some shit like that sometimes because that's how it makes you that's how it, it makes you feel right this is why they have to strip everything from you because they know that you're going to get angry enough because of what it is that they're doing right and they can't hide they can no longer hide behind the psychiatry and the psychiatric labeling to get away with doing what they're doing okay and so again you know i have to take one of my uh medicine because Want to be calling me daddy? You know. And here's the thing too. So when my, I went to pick up my daughter today. She was walking home. She kept asking me about her card, her green light card, right? And I, you know, I put it away somewhere, but I can't remember. But they'll do things like this to test my memory because, again, you know, she, she's not allowed to use it without uh, her parents. And so. We got in the house. She kind of forgot about it for a little bit. Spoken to the TF in California. Then um, she asked me about it. So I went to look for it. I couldn't remember what I did with it, where I put it. And I usually put stuff in very uh, um, good places where I can find it, particularly stuff like that. There's few places I don't. There's I make I, I make it obvious to wear because I know my habits of where I put things. And and I know if I if I deviate from that, I probably won't find it. So. It's only, a, it's only a few places that I would put these things, right? And it was not there. Okay, just as how, like I said, her, um, my son's glasses all of a sudden showed up in the house on her computer desk, right? Which we've been looking for his glasses for months. He didn't know what he did with it. I cleaned up the living, the living room. I moved, for, listen, I moved everything, furniture, what have you, no glasses, right? A week ago, what happened? Her glasses showed up on his his glasses showed up on her desk. You know, didn't know how it got there. Just as how, like I said, my hoodie. Um, when I was going, when I was in school, okay, I did my my hoodie fell off my my jacket, right? Because it was uh, one of those um, the hoodie where you where you with the snap button. And um, I was going to my other class, and I lost it on the way. Right. Then about a year later, my hoodie showed up on the floor in Pam's apartment. Right, and 
like I said, that's it. That's the last thing. You're playing a very dangerous game, you need to stop it, okay? And she didn't say nothing, right? So she's allowing these people to do this to our children because of what she thinks that she's going to get out of it, right? Whether it be money or whether it be some some honey trap dude or what have you, some some dude who's manipulating her ass, you know, right? Because of, of, of a narrative and an agenda that they want to do, right? So again, you have these, particularly these black sambos and sambinas on the police department who, you know, abuse their authority, right? Just like what happened to that, um, what's his name? Um, you know, with a kid, with, where he was dating one of these officers' uh, ex-girlfriend, and they beat him up and killed him, right? This is the this is the mindset of these people, man. You know, and it's a damn shame. You know what I'm saying? But these are the same people that that when it comes, and you know that that these these guys are abusers. You know that, and they're in the police force. Like I said, it doesn't you know only the, like I, that's why I call them sambos and sambitas because they they have black skin and they look black but they're European and they're white supremacists in mindset, okay? So they can get mad all they want. You know, I speak the truth. Like I said, and you only how they snap out of it when they're in public, when they're in uh, regular clothing and some white racist cop beat their ass and don't believe them that they're a police officer or shoot them and, you know, and don't believe that they're a police officer, even though they tell them that they're a police officer. That's only how they snap out of it. And that's the, that's the shame. But again, I don't really blame them because it's part of their conditioning. But they should know better too. They should at least uh, have the understanding that, listen, this, this is my community, the community I grew up in, what have you. Let me not, you know, because we see some police officers who blew the whistle on corruption, right? On the fact that New York Federal Department is predatorial against black people and Hispanic people. We see, we see this, right? How many, how many, what, hundreds of millions of dollars they shell, they shell out? over the past decade because of their racism and their targeting, right? And again, it's predatory. So I'm not saying that just to call them just because I'm being targeted by them, right? But I'm, you go look at the evidence. Go look at what it is that they do. They are predatory, all right? So anyhow, so Pam came in the house, you know, uh, went to sleep, went to bed, you know, left the, the, the season meat on the counter because you're supposed to cook. I just put it in the fridge because I'm not cooking it. You know, and they, they start, look at them over there. Look, 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 look. As soon as I turn, you see they walk away. See her grabbing her hair, right? So again, this is, as I'll tell you, so these people are well uh, funded, right? And there's there's a lot of them. So as a TI, you got to understand what you're up against, right? That you're up against a, a, a massive uh, cult destructive cult with resources with um, particularly uh, with their leaders and their handlers who are in law enforcement right part of the religious community engaging in, in such behavior right and even today every once in a while they'll find uh, uh, someone to, that has the uh, unk tattoo or unk chain to engage in my targeting but I just I you know listen I know history. You know, I know the Kemetic Coptic priests, priests and priestess, you know, under Ptolemy, right? Some of them were turncoats, right? Those that truly believe in the Kemetic ways, you know, fell under the sword because they would not make Ptolemy a god. Right? They said, you, you, you are foreigner, you, you cannot be a netter, and I even said God, a netter. You cannot be a netter. And so he killed those that didn't want to make him a netter, and those that were too afraid um, ended up making him a netter. And they created uh, Serapis, the, 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 and that's for Ptolemy as a netter. All right. So yeah, you know what I'm saying. So again, but they know I, they they know they cannot convert me. They know they cannot manipulate me as how they used to. Yeah. And then when they're when they're abusing my daughter, like they abuse, and that's, it is it is abuse on their end, right? This is the New York City Credit Department. This is the U.S. Government the Security Agencies, the FBI, right? Illegally microchipping uh, people. And I was watching a video, and um, 
you know, the person was talking about national security, and of course, as soon as he said national security, they used their, um, their the car horn, right? The, the car horn can like you hear right there, all right? Also, um, I was watching another video that was talking about um, uh, passing, I think passing wealth uh, on to your kids, but as soon as they, they, he said uh, pass, passing it on to your kids, you know, they, Again, using the car horn, all right. And then at that point, I know we were severely being uh, hit with radio wave frequency to affect our consciousness. Because uh, my daughter, um, you know, she had she couldn't find her shorts, and she was like, "I just have my shorts out of my hand, and it fell, and I can't find it. I'm in the bathroom looking for it. It's not there. All right. So I had to go to the um, I had to go, I went into the living room. I said, let me just go into the living room and see. And sure enough, she, it dropped on the floor in the living room, not in the bathroom, right? But again, it just shows you the effect that it has on her mind that, you know, when we're hit, when we're being microwave and radio, with hit radio wave frequency, uh, it, it affects our memory greatly, all right? Well, like I said, this is why black people, they use this on us as a people and they can wipe out our memories they can, uh, um, you know, take away our intelligence because they've studied the human brain. They know where intelligence comes from. They can manipulate us in any manner which they want to, right? And so, you know, so what you're going to see now, right, is that look, as I'm standing here, uh, you guys see a difference? I right, said so for that woman across the street who was engaging and targeting. Right, they were uh, engaging in, you know, very subtle targeting. All right, so it's not as blatant. Like I said, they hit, they hit me with blitzes. Right, be a couple of days, and then they will, um, then they will go back to it being subtle again after they BCI me. All right, after they invade my inner thoughts to control my mind eye movement yes that's in my mind here the police are down in your pressure department right so this is this is what they do okay this is this is what they're doing anyhow and now she's walking looking at the phone looking at the black vehicle yeah <laughs> see they think they can manipulate my emotions and i know exactly what it is they do but it doesn't work it does not work. And I'm gonna tell you how. So when Pam came in the house, usually she's sitting on the other chair, but she came and she sat on the couch. I was laying on the couch. And I had got up to answer the, I had, no, I was laying on the couch and I, and what I, I got up to get something. And when I came back, she was sat, sitting on the couch. And I was lying down, because that couch is very hard to, to sit on at times. And so I had to stretch my feet and I had to put my feet over her lap because of how she was sitting. Right? And I noticed she's sitting there and she's not targeting me or anything like that. Right? Because again, I turn around, she fell asleep. Right? The, the, the homeless team. She's the homeless team. Right? So. Then she gets up. And I said to her, I said, to her, I said you know, aren't you cooking? I said, you have meat on the counter, right? You season on the counter. She's like, yeah. She's like, I gotta go kick it, right? But she ended up went going to, into her bed and falling asleep. Literally left the, the meat out, so I had to put it in the fridge. Because again, they're trying to, you know, try to manipulate. I, I, like I said, I know how they operate, right? So my daughter's up asking me about the card, the green light card. Now the green light card that she has, it's, um, it's a, yeah, again, the color, is, is black. So every time I look at something black, I'll put this one black, they will use the horn. So that's today, right? They will use the horn, the car horn. And again, that's what I said, they try to manipulate my choice so that way, you know, I will choose different colors as they use the car horn or the sirens uh, to target me. And they'll use the sirens particularly when it's like a, a green color, right? Like the color green. Anyway, I'll talk to you guys in the next video.